In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Morning to y'all. The start of a great adventure today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Three days out in the snow, playing around. Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness. Today is January 30th. It is the last day of January. Is it really? Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we have quite the adventure planned, um, and we are gonna try to vlog a good portion of it. We are going to a friend's cabin for the next two nights. Mm -hmm. And to get there, we are snow machining. Uh, it's about a 65-ish mile one-way trip. And we are leaving from our driveway and going to their cabin. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's pretty awesome, the ability to do this kind of stuff from our driveway, not having to trailer the machines everywhere. So they're just endless possibilities. And this is one of the reasons why we chose Houston to live in and particularly where we are at. Yes. So we hope you enjoy today's vlog. Uh, it will be over a couple of days, but yeah, enjoy. What do you think, Sophie? Are you ready to go for a snow machine ride? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? I know. I know. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Well, here we are. Sophie is in her carrier. She'll be zipped in. She has ventilation. Um, if it's super cold, I also have a heated shirt underneath her blanket to help give her some heat however it's near 30 degrees today and i have her bundled up pretty well she's in a fleece um, onesie as well as her powder jacket so we are doing good we are just waiting for our friends to show up we still have to load up spirit but uh we'll be getting out and on the trail here soon how you doing, Spirit? What do you think of your new kennel? Huh? What do you think of your kennel on a snow machine? Yeah. So we got this rigid plastic kennel here, and we got a uh, insulated wrap around it. And uh, she's on the back tunnel of my snow machine. I had to build up a little platform so, so it fits nice and snug and level. And we got it strapped down so it's uh, on there pretty tight. <laughs> we'll see how this happens with her. I don't know. I'm not sure. We never got a test run. Yeah. But so the, the kennel door closes here and then this flap rolls down. So there's, the snow should stay out. And there's also vents, so there's a vent right up here and there's holes in the side of the plastic kennel too. So there'll be air exchange in there. So uh, we'll see how she does. I think she's gonna be excited to be with her people. I think so initially, yes. I think she'll be happy to be out with us. Well, we're almost ready, and uh, this is how I look when we ride. I look like I'm gonna go rob a bank, but uh, no bank robbing happening here today. Pure, 100% fun. Right, babe? Yeah! Woohoo! Have a great time! <laughs> Spring suspension kind of nice on that sled. So it doesn't jar too much. Should be good. We'll see what happens. 
So this is our, uh, this is our sled, this is our equipment. We've got food, beverages, clothing, 10 gallons of fuel, and everything we need for three days camping. Well, I lied this morning when I said it was around 30 degrees. That is gonna be the high today. Uh, when I went inside, I looked, it's currently 12 degrees. But uh, yeah, now we're just waiting for our friends to show up and we'll hit the trail. Well, here we are. So we've got a couple of really nice sleds. These are our snow check sleds from uh, 2022 that we didn't get until April and May. And at that time there was no snow. So this is actually our first season using them in 2023. I've got a Polaris Switchback Assault. It's a 146 inch track with two inch paddles on there. It's a really good crossover sled. Um, great for trails and really good for uh, some off trail stuff too. Not a true mountain sled, but a really good crossover all around trail sled and go play in the boondocking sled. Um, Stacy has a workhorse over here. This is the uh, Polaris Titan Adventure 800 CC engine. And she's got a two up seat on it. And that two-up seat is perfect for Sophie. Um, this is a wider track sled and she's got big floater skis on it. So this thing will go everywhere without a problem. Um, it's not a, it's not a go play in the steep and deep stuff at all. It's um, a workhorse to get loads to the cabin and just go have fun. Um, I have friends that have this same sled that, uh, I mean, they, they rip on them, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour pretty easily. So. This, this thing still, even though it's a workhorse, still moves quick if you want to go play quick like that. But Stacy, not so much. But Stacy, not so much. Um, <laughs> and you, of course, with the big heavier sled, you got you know the big huge box back here and the whole the all metal cradle system, heavy duty tow hitch for the bigger sleds or bigger trailers and all that. I might mention normally when we go out and ride, we do wear helmets. But today we are wearing our fur because we're going to be going long distance and we're going to be going slow. It's a slower go today with the trailer and the, and the kennel on mine. Uh, that's an extra, you know, with Spirit and the kennel, that's an extra 70 pounds back there that I'm not used to. So it's going to, well, minus a t uh, probably an extra 50 pounds that I'm not used to. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But considering we're going over 60 miles one yep. way, I want to save my neck because we're going to do it again on Thursday right. when we come home. We do have the carbon fiber helmets, but they do get a little, yeah, after a, a day's use, they get a little tiring. Yep. So. All right. are currently at a rest stop letting the dogs get out so we're kind of we're changing our gear out a little bit where we started it was 12 degrees we're going down towards the big sioux river and the, the big swamps area and it's going to be 10 to 12 15 degrees colder out there so we're kind of putting on a second layer just to kind of keep that cold off of us what do you think sophie you don't know yet sophie, what do you think? Boone. Hey, buddy. Doing good. Spirit, come here. Yep, she's going home. It was nice loving you. Come here, Sophie. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah, on that side. So here we have a little creek crossing. The uh, ice bridge has fallen down, and uh, it's a little off off angle. So uh, Stacy's got to maneuver the machine through it. This is one of her first uh, big obstacles that she's encountered. She's riding on the uh, right side uh, running board to shift her weight over to that side to keep the sled that the ski up that side on the uh, up pile up hill side. Slow down! Whoa! <laughs> She just said, go for it. And Bobby, Bobby's gonna just kill it. She'll do it just fine. There she goes. All right, I gotta turn on. Well, we are a little over halfway and we have stopped at Deshka Landing to take on some fuel. Our uh, machines are still in braking period. Well, mine is. And uh, it sips a little oh, bit wow. more than we want. So how's the riding so far, babe? That's been a fun little ride. It has been fun. Uh, I don't know. I've had a couple of hiccups with my machine. Had to reset the GPS and all that stuff but other than that it's a beautiful day Whew. yes it's been nice it's not cold it I was not it didn't get nearly as cold as we thought it was gonna get and uh this is nice I'm gonna check on my dog video of this. Oh, hold on there's Sophie you're doing good kiddo okay let's go check on your sister All right, Spirit. Hi. Be comfortable. Hi. You just laying down, chilling. Come on. Come on. There you go. Woohoo! I just laid the machine over. Sorry, Spirit. Oh, that's fun though. So we just came across some people that we know on the trail, so we're stopping to say hi, but we're almost to the cabin. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Yep. Bucket list of cheese. <laughs> 80 miles. 80 miles. 80 miles. I may not have guessed it just right. Nope, not quite. <laughs> we, yeah. we did take the long scenic route. That we did. Oh um, man, this is so nice. Welcome to day two of our adventure. Looks like we got what, two inches of snow overnight. It's snowing hard right now. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's see what happens. So yesterday in all, we did from our house 78.8 miles. Close enough to 80. Yeah, we'll call it 80. Yep. Uh, we had a blast. It took us seven hours to get here. There were a couple of stops and there's a couple of two, two detours. Two detours and some big bumpy roads in places or trails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel it. I only heard in my hands gripping that I got to get some grip strength. But uh, yeah, today we're going to do a run to look at a remote cabin that is for sale. We are not going to buy it, no. but uh, we're just going to go look at it. We know some friends that 
may be interested. Uh, but yeah, today is a relaxed day, recover day, because tomorrow we get to do it all mm -hmm. again. But, uh, and a little bit of work day too, too. We've got to get up on the roof of the cabin over here. We're going to shovel off the roof and um, also dig out the wood pile and maybe have a fire. Yeah, we have to have a fire because we got, we got our dogs. lunch is hot dogs. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. we don't have to have a fire, but That'd be nice. Yeah. So, yeah, this is um, this is Alaska in winter. You get out and you play hard, regardless if it's sunny or snowing. Right. It just happened to be sunny a lot lately, and yes. now we're finally getting some snow back. This is our good. first snow really since. December when yeah. we were gone on our, yeah, on our, vacation. On our uh, anniversary trip. Yep. So yep. <sighs> that's nice. Yep. Right now we're trying to thaw out some water that froze on the way in. And yep. uh, but other than that, life is good. It's great. All right. We'll check back in later on today. I don't know what's more work, right? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, there's the metal edge. Yep. <laughs> well, it means we're going up the other side when I do get on the roof. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Climb up on that snow pile and come all off. This is a three quarters way cut. <laughs> okay, attempt number two. Oh, oh, oh. That's how chunky it is. It wasn't going to slide at any time. No. Gary's trying to break off some ice on his uh, running boards while we stop and take a little break as we do this little exploratory cabin run. Is that so you don't slip? Yeah, I, there's enough ice in there, my boots don't slide up where they need to be. <laughs> it's no good. They're back at the cabin. Darn it, I was filming you, Bobby, when Gary biffed it. Oh, you. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to teach Gary how to do the turn, and you went too slow. <laughs> well, we found a meadow, and so the boys are playing, and as you can tell, they both uh, were carving a little too far. <laughs> They're too tired to hang on in the turn. <laughs> ah. All right, well, this GoPro is about dead. I just got the low battery signal. So we're down to one now and my cell phone. Problem is now I can't see. I got snow inside my goggles from like All that fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still learning how to use this machine. I mean, look at, look and you know, Mike's got years of experience and he's sh trying to show me. I've got weeks of experience slowly learning. 
You used to ride way back in the day. I, nothing but... like this. I, 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 at, the, at the ski area, I rode machine for ski patrol on groomed runs and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> hauling chainsaws and stuff. So nothing like this. Uh, we just got back from our ride. It was a fun ride. We did not find the cabin that was for sale. We tried, but there was a creek. We didn't feel like riding up, so we headed back. As soon as we got back, I stopped short of the cabin at the outhouse, and uh, Gary let the dogs out. Hey, Sophie. Sophie, what are you doing? Did you want to go for a ride with Mommy, but Mommy left you at the cabin? Considering how much you're shaking, that was probably the best idea. Cute girl. I wish I had got when she came running from the cabin to me. It was adorable. But uh, I think it's time for lunch. What? Are you laying down on the job? No, I'm digging for wood. <laughs> 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 It's what happens when you have four feet of snow and your wood pile is under a tarp underneath that four feet of snow. You gotta dig. Yeah. Oh. Winter fire with frozen wood. That's how you start. <laughs> this is what happens when the snow is not quite packed down enough. <laughs> this is gonna suck. <laughs> I'm trying to get over a little bit to give Mike more room. I'll give Mike my car. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Let me set this on the table. Yeah, it, it is lifted. It is definitely because we're like the front is definitely. You think I'm going to do this? Can she come out? Hi! Come on, Sophie, over here! Hey, baby! Hey! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> in the hole.
Good Thursday morning to you. We are prepping to leave the cabin and make our journey home 80 miles. Uh, it stopped snowing. It looks like blue skies. It's going to be a gorgeous day for a snow machine ride. Yeah! Woo-hoo! we a good one today. All right. We want to thank our friends Mike and Bobby for letting us come out and uh, hang out at their property and uh, do all the fun things that we did the past two days. So it's time to ride. Such a good snow machine and dog. Yeah. <sighs> and Spirit, you're a trooper. Well, we've reached our halfway point uh, on our way home. We are at Deshka Landing, topping up the fuel tanks. We still have about 40 miles to get home. It's just starting to snow. It's flat light, so that's kind of hard to see the bumps. But uh, it's been a beautiful ride. Can't complain. This whole trip has been amazing. And I don't know what Spirit's doing. Spirit, what are you after? What's in there? Is there a critter in there? And uh, yeah, everyone's doing great. Well, welcome back to the house. We've made it back. It was another long day, long run. I think it's 3.30? Oh, it's 4.20. Oh. We were, it took us just over five hours. We left at 11 o'clock this morning, so we actually made way better time home. Less miles home. Yes, 68 miles home versus 78. So we shaved 10 miles off of the route. Yeah. Uh, by going a different way uh, once we hit the Willow um, trail system. I apologize I didn't get any coverage once we left desk uh, uh, landing. My GoPro froze. So 150 miles under our belts. Well, no, plus uh, yesterday we did a 25 miles, so it was 125 miles. That's true. In those three days, yes. so that's a pretty good run. And uh, the dogs did great. Spirit does hate life. We're going to have to give her some puppy ibuprofen. Yeah, but and, um, and, uh, this is not therapy. an every ride thing with the dogs. No. This no. was a special cabin weekend, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I mean, I think once we got to the cabin, she had a fine time. Spirit did. Yep. Sophie could, you know, she's, she's just so easy. She'll have a good time wherever she's at. We really appreciate you guys watching us. Please hit that like button. Leave us any questions down below or a comment if right. you wish. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Sure. I know we haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. Actually, we have. Getting caught last up. Last month we've been catching up really well. You have been doing so much dang work. It's amazing. Thank you. <sighs> well, it's winter time and the house is pretty much done. And I have time to edit. So. It sounds like you need to go snow machine more often. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of... 
I she kind of likes it. I hit 50 today. This yesterday, weekend. Yesterday, well, a couple days ago. She yeah. pulling the sled, she hit 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Still not me. ready for the iron dog. Oh, God, no. No, but that's coming up next, yep. too. So stay tuned. All right, take care. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.